hey this is your favorite tech with another tutorial be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support in this quick tutorial i'm going to show you a quick way to fix if you're having trouble logging into your windows 10 device i'm assuming you know your password you put it in several times and for some weird reason it will not accept your password and log in how can you fix this problem or get around it for you can get back in your system so what i want you to do is go to the bottom right corner of the screen and find the power icon all right i want you to click on it then go to the restart button hold down shift while pressing the restart button it's very important that you hold down shift first then click the restart button okay by doing that it should take you here to this window safe mode you're gonna select troubleshoot, select advanced options, select startup settings. All right, it's gonna give you startup settings. You're gonna click restart. All right, it's gonna take you to the setup settings. You can select any one of these. So select six, seven. We're gonna select F5, enable safe mode with networking. So we're going into our computer with safe mode. So our system comes back up. I want you to try to put your password one more time. Hopefully it will work this time in safe mode. All right, we're logged into safe mode. We're gonna actually check the drivers by updating the display drivers to see if that can help why it's freezing on the start screen. So you're just gonna type in the search device drivers and it should pull up this menu right here. So let's just make sure that we're updating any drivers just to make sure that's the reason why it's not freezing on the display. So go to display drivers or display adapter and whatever your actual display adapter shows up when you press the drop down, I want you to actually go to it, right? So for example, this one's showing that, press update driver, let it search the internet and it would update your driver software. So we just wanna make sure that your login is not freezing up because of your display driver. So this is just a quick thing we can check uh, real quick. Now, here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna actually go back to the start menu and hold shift and then press reset and get back into the startup settings. So you're gonna to go to the start menu, hold shift and then click reset and we'll get back into the startup menu now we're back in the startup menu where we started at the beginning of the video and we're going to try another method so here's what we're going to do so when we're back in this menu we're going to click troubleshoot advanced options and now we're going to do a start a repair now if you have a backup copy of your system image try a system image recovery first so you click that then it means you've got a usb or a cd or dvd already burnt so it's going to run the system image recovery process. Obviously this method is assuming you have a system image, whether it's a CD, a DVD, or USB plugged in ready to be recognized. So it's obviously is gonna ask you the name of the system interest account. You're gonna, you're gonna go sign into your account and then it would try to recognize your system image. So this one cannot find your system image. So you would insert your disk right now and then class retry, we will hopefully want it already inserted. You would select your system interest right here, press next, then you would locate the image. So just go through that process if you have it. If you don't, we're gonna try another method. We're gonna go back to troubleshoot, advanced options, and we're gonna try a system restore. So if you have a restore point already stayed on your system, Windows could be loaded up based on that pre-existing restore point, which can potentially fix the problem of why you can't log into your computer or why you're stuck in that loop. But it looks like here we don't have a restore point already set, so we won't be able to do this. That's another way you could do it. Go back to troubleshooting, advanced options. Now let's try, you can also roll back to a previous version of build of your windows it's kind of a restore point similar and then you can go to reset this pc where you kind of just clean your pc completely you remove all files um or you can keep files and it'll kind of like clean everything on your computer including your operating system fresh it can either keep your files or remove your files that's an option you can do as well if you choose to so there's quite a few options you can do to repair this issue then there's a command prompt option which i think we talked about in previous videos um but we're not going to really get into the details of that one right now so it's pretty long so those are all the different ways you can fix your system just try them out they're generic but they should resolve your problem thanks for your time
Hey, if you found this video valuable, go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel. If you subscribe, type the phrase I subscribed in the comment section below. Keep in mind when you subscribe, it motivates us to continue to make these free videos. Lastly, if you enjoy learning about technology, entrepreneurship, or making money online, go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel. Thanks for your support.